Hi, this tutorial covers the quick heat map component of dHour. This tool is useful for generating a quick test visualization of data right in the Grasshopper interface. This is especially helpful for previewing the outputs and data trends before generating a more detailed version with the spatial heat map component. So we can find this component under the primitives tab, and it has just a few inputs. First we'll connect a set of dHours. And then we'll need to select one of its keys. So here I'll choose outdoor dry bulb temperature and just copy it into a panel. And once this is connected, we'll see a full grayscale heat map appear. If we want to adjust the range of this map, we can plug a new domain into the range input. Again, we can use a simple panel and say, 5 to 25, after which we notice that some hours have fallen outside the bounds. The hours that are below the lowest bound now appear as blue, and the hours beyond the upper bound are showing as red. So to give us more flexibility in defining this range, we can also use the numeric domain component from the Maths tab. And then double-clicking, we can define a slider for the upper and lower bound. And with this, we'll be able to change the relative output of our graph. Also notice that by changing the bounds, we are changing the gradient because the lower bound is set to be the black of the full spectrum, and the upper bound is set to be the white. If we choose to use the outputs of our heat map for further scripting, you'll notice that even though we've mapped a limited range, the full range of the original d hour is still output. 